It is the annual cross-country road race from Muncie, Indiana to Pittsburgh, PA. Our two finalists will compete for this magnificent trophy, known familiarly to the racing gentry as the Muncie to Pittsburgh Trophy. Here is the ever-popular speed jockey and eagle scout, Tom Slick. Yay! Approaching him is his opponent, that twisted evil genius and fussy eater, Baron Automatic. Boo! I have come to wish you good luck in today's race, Tom Slick. <gasps> Why, that's very sporting of you, Baron. And to show you I mean it, I want you to have my very own monogrammed road map on heavy vellum paper suitable for framing. Oh. And now, goodbye, Tom Slick. Quick, count your fingers, Tom boy. Two, three, four. Good heavens. Oh, there it is. Baron, have you really changed your evil way? <laughs> I didn't think so. That was a phony map, right? Correct, Clutcher. If Tom Slick follows that map, he will wind up in Glendale, California. Jeez, a fate worse than that, Master. Why are you so mean to Tom Slick? Because I cannot stand his sportier-than-thou attitude. The cars are lining up for the start. Isn't the Baron facing in the wrong direction, Tom? According to this map, he is. Hot figures, we got an edge for once. Bye, Gertie. I must warn him. Oh, Tom, you're all heart. And no head. Sir, you are facing in the wrong direction to go... <laughs> ...to Pittsburgh. Poor misguided soul just wouldn't listen. Are you hurt, Tom? Just a little tired, Marigold. Yes, I can see the tracks. And Tom Slick starts off in the opposite direction. Well, girls, we are off to Pittsburgh. What's so great about going to Pittsburgh? Well, for one thing, it gets you out of Muncie. I'll buy that. But, Tom, all the road signs say Glendale. None of them say Pittsburgh. You know, I'll bet the Baron has changed all the road signs. Lucky we've got this map. Now three days have elapsed, and the Baron is already on the cloverleaf leading to the stretch run to Pittsburgh. Rock, almighty Baron, a hitchhiker. Good. Why did you run over him? I don't know, Clutcher. I'm just happy, I guess. Meanwhile, in the boondocks of Arizona... Tom, I don't remember any deserts between Muncie and Pittsburgh. It's right there on the map, Marigold. See? The Ohio Desert. Then who are them fellas in the war paint? Duck girls, they must be the Cleveland Indians. But all was not peaches and cream for the Baron either. Master, we're going in circles on this cloverleaf intersection. That's bad news, Clutcher. And you know how I hate to get bad news. Sorry, master. Yes, a fast-growing catalpa tree had obscured the Pittsburgh train off sign. The Baron seems doomed to follow that cloverleaf forever. But what about Tom? You can come out now, girls. I think we've outdistanced them. You mean those Cleveland Indians missed us completely? Yes, I think I've just driven my first no-hitter. And there's the state line just ahead. Pennsylvania? <laughs> California. But it can't be. What does that sign say? Help keep our state green and golden. Bring money. That's California, all righty. Then the Baron's map is no good at all. It's suitable for framing. It is? It sure framed us. Hang on, girls. We may still have an outside chance. And ignoring the road, Tom sends the Thunderbolt Grease Slapper on a cross-country beeline for Pittsburgh. Why don't we call it quits, Tom? There's no such word as quit in racing, Marigold. Couldn't we make one up? But back at the Cloverleaf, a sudden cold snap causes the catalpa leaves to fall and... Pittsburgh, ten miles, at last! Poor Tom, he has to make it clear across the country. At this moment, Tom Slick is probably being inspected for food flies at the California state line. 
Captain, who is that coming up behind us? Oh, no, that time. It's Tom Slick. Yay! Why don't we take the highway, Tom? Because it's five o'clock on Friday afternoon, Marigold. The Baron is held up in a monstrous traffic jam. We still have a chance. Just goes to show what grit will do, Marigold. There's no such word as grit in racing. That's quit. Oh. Yes, it looks like Tom is a sure winner. Tom, the finish line is just ahead. That's a red light, Marigold. Your honest road racer abides by the law. But your crooked road racer wins the race, Tom Slick. <laughs> the Baron has just gone through the red light. He is approaching the finish line, but what's this? He is going to get a ticket. Hurry, hurry! The light turns green. At a law-abiding 15 miles an hour, Tom Slick wins. Yay! Thanks, local police supporters, and thanks, Marigold and Gertie. Uh, where is Gertie? The name is Automatic. Baron Automatic. B A R O N. Uh huh. B A R O N. Uh, how do you make a B?